Let's say you and I were playing Where's Waldo and I find him before you do. Is it possible for me to prove that I found him without actually revealing his location? I could have you close your eyes and then reveal his location to a third party, but that only works if you really trust the third party, which isn't totally convincing. A good solution might be to cover up the book with a giant sheet that has a small hole cut out of it, revealing Waldo proving that I know where he is without actually revealing his location on the page. This is what mathematicians call a zero knowledge proof. To give another example, suppose that I claim to be able to see extra colors that most people can't see, and that I can see a shade difference between two identical green balls, A and B. You can shuffle them behind your back and mentally keep track of which is which, and then try to test me. If I get it right after one guess, well, you might say I was just lucky, so you shuffle them again. And then if I get it right, then there's only a 25% chance of guessing correctly twice in a row. After 30 times, the chance of me getting it right each time will have been one in a billion. And yet, after all this time, you never actually learned which ball was greener or what that even means, just that I can tell them apart. In math, truth and understanding go hand in hand, but a zero knowledge proof Let somebody verify the truth about a claim without actually understanding why or how it's true. And this has lots of applications, like verifying the outcome of an election without revealing who everyone voted for, or verifying the disarming of military weapons without revealing classified information about their design.